Hayden, Cheryl, congratulations on your 2018 Cadillac Escalade Premium Luxury. So I wanted to give you a quick walk around of this in case you had any questions. I know you can call me, but you can rewind this video uh, to uh, go over anything that you may have any questions about. Uh, I'm just going to kind of walk around it. You know, you've got your power adjustable steps there. I know we're going to swap out these wheels, I'm sorry, these tires with the nittos that you've got. Uh, you see the window tint that Monty did, so don't want to uh, roll those windows down for at least a week. It hadn't been hot over here, so you don't want to roll those down in case they bubble up. Um, I did set the uh, easy access tailgate, so basically what you'll do is you'll go underneath here. You'll kick down there, and it'll open up. So just like the Fords, except for you don't sweep. On the Fords, you sweep your foot. This one, you just kick like that, and it'll open for you. I've got the rear seats folded down, as you can see. Underneath in the back, you've got your headphones remote for the uh, DVD for the kiddos. That's going to go right there. Instruction manual is going to be right over here. And here is the power seat control for the third row, which is going to be right there. So I'll keep these down so when your dad comes and gets this, they have room uh, for their luggage for the trip. There's going to be the power liftgate button there for the back. Dual cameras are going to be right there. So one is for the rear view camera, which is here, and then this is going to be for the rear view mirror. Your temporary tag's gonna be good till November 11th, but you'll have your tags quicker than that. Let's hop inside so you see exactly what you're getting. Make sure you stop by uh, Patterson up there and get these mats. Cause you're right, I know with, with kids it's hard to uh, keep these things clean as far as how to set everything up so the most important thing is probably going to be the uh, Bluetooth so you'll just press the phone button like so hit the pair button which is going to be right there turn the Bluetooth on on your phone and then you can pair it um, and start using the different features depending on what type of phone you have if you connect your phone to the USB cable that's provided with your phone, so if you have an Apple, you can plug it in here. Or if you have an Android, you can plug it in there as well. You're going to have Apple CarPlay or Android Auto right there. So it'll pull up maps that you've got on your phone and it'll project it onto the screen, which I'm sure you probably already have that in your Tahoe, but I just wanted to let you know in case you didn't know that. Heated seat controls are going to be right over here, so heat, heat. And then air conditioned seats are right here for both sides. You know you have a cubby hole right here. You also have a USB port back there as well. So it's big enough to carry a, a pistol if you carry one in the vehicle. It's going to be the wireless charging which is going to be right over here. I believe your Tahoe has that. Uh, but if it doesn't, you can just set your phone here as long as it's a... Uh, iPhone 8 Plus or the iPhone 10 or any of the Android with uh, the wireless charging. Now if you start using the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto you can access that by pressing this button. You would press and hold it down for about three seconds. That's how you access Siri if you've got an Apple phone. If you just want to use your car commands you just press it. Say a command or say help. That's how you do that. So you would press this to answer the phone if you're getting a phone call and then this button to ignore uh, or hang up the phone call. I've got everything set on auto as far as your headlights, your four wheel drive selector switches on auto. So depending on who's driving, Cheryl, if you're driving and it starts raining real hard, uh, it'll switch to four wheel drive to where you don't have to worry about it. But leave it on auto all the time so that way it's going to be the safest for you while you're driving with the kids. The headlights are on automatic again, so if you're driving on a dark road and there's no cars in front of you as far as coming at you, the high beams will come on and will turn off if uh, 
if there's oncoming traffic. Let me set the wipers. The rain sense wipers are on, so it's on automatic. So if it starts raining, you don't have to worry about doing anything as far as turning the wipers on. It'll do it for you. On the left side, again, here's for the your phone. This is going to be your cruise control, which is here. That turns it on. That turns it off. This sets it by pushing this down, and then that increases the speed by pushing that up. Forward collision warning is right there. I've got it set in the middle. You don't want to go there where it's near because your reaction time may not be good and then you don't want it to where it's too far otherwise it'll start uh, just going crazy by all the cars turning in your lane so leaving it in the middle is the best that I always recommend for folks uh, these buttons here that's gonna be your volume controls there and then these arrows are gonna be for the driver information center there so while I push this button it goes to the different screens where you can change different settings like right now it's on oil life you can do fuel range which that's not right it'll actually that'll adjust as uh, your dad starts driving this back to Wichita Falls and then in the center you can change it from um, your speed and then it also has the speed limit there too that's what I like to leave it on so people know how fast they're going uh, where they're driving it's hard to see it from here because the light but right there like where the tree stump is that's gonna be your heads-up display and the control for the heads-up display is right here that adjusts the uh, wired positions the information you want to show and then how bright you want it uh, right over here is the different modes so this is your suspension mode right there so you can go touring sport or snow and ice I always set on touring for the best ride this is gonna be for the adjustable pedals which you can only adjust when it's in park. Uh, this is going to be your traction control, which you should always leave it on uh, so you're always safe. Glove box button is going to be right there. It is an electronic glove box. Uh, your temporary uh, registration is going to be right over there. You do have a one-year inspection sticker. It's actually a, a certificate, so you don't have to worry about that. And you'll get two years of registration. This is going to be the lane keep assist, which you should have in your Tahoe, so you should know that uh, this camera, which is right here behind the mirror, watches for the lanes on either side of you. So if you drift off to the left or to the right, it's going to bring you back to the center. I mean, it's not going to jerk you over it, but it's, it's a subtle movement. Um, right here is going to be the parking sensor. So if you're backing up or pulling forward into a spot, you can... Uh, It'll let you know that something's in the way. And then right over here is the self-park mode. So it'll either park the car for you parallel or perpendicular left or right. So it's something you're just going to have to uh, play with and, and, and just get used to. But it's, it's a nice deal. So here on your cue system, you have your audio, which is your AM, FM, XM radio. Your phone, again, your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. Your navigation, the different settings climate control, weather, which is through XM radio, and then video for the uh, kids in the back while they watch uh, the DVD. And on the camera button here, when you press that, it shows a front camera. And I'm sure you don't do this, but whenever you're pulling up to a curb, a lot of my clients are older, and they stop whenever their tires hit the curb. Now on something like this, it's going to clear the curb, most curbs, but you can hit the camera button while you're going slow and... It'll tell you exactly uh, how close you are. And then right over here is a 360 camera so you know where you are as far as parking. You can also press this button here. And that's going to be for the reverse camera. Uh, earlier I was showing you the different types of cameras. So that's the reverse camera that comes on whenever you put it in reverse. And then here's your active camera. It's hard to see because it's light. But there's a regular mirror right there but you can't see anything because it's so dark in here. If somebody wanted dark tinted windows, I don't know who that would be, but you got dark tinted windows. That's your normal mirror. But when you flip this back, then you have your active camera that you could see, you know, in your blind spots if they're back there. Um, I don't know what else I'm missing. Your climate control is going to be, let me go back over here, right there. 
So there's the screen there on the Q system, or you can control it over here. Your fan speed is going to be right here. That makes it blow faster or slower, and the different temperatures that you can set for you or Cheryl or Cheryl and you, if she even lets you drive the car. Um, volume controls for the radio are right here. It's not a peck, it's, it's a slide like so. So that's all you really have to do there. Cup holders are going to be right there. You do have a power outlet there. If you don't want to see all that, you can just cover that. But you also have a power outlet down here as well. Here's the window sticker that I'll put in the glove box. So that way you don't uh, lose it. You have a tray, which is going to be right here. Another power outlet, which is right there. More USBs here. But you can pick up that tray and then you have more storage underneath. So if you're carrying a bigger gun, you can put it under there and no one will know. I'm sure you know how the sunroof works. All your sunroof controls are going to be right here. That's going to tilt. That's going to open it up. This is going to be for the, uh, the lights whenever you open your door. And I've got it set to open whenever the lights of the doors open. This button here. Gosh, it's so dark in here. Because I'm under this awning. There we go. So that button there opens the rear tailgate. And then again, here's your OnStar. And then here's your home link. So if you want to program your garage door there, you can definitely do that. That's going to be your motion sensor for the car. Whenever there's not, not a light there, that means it's on. So leaving it on means that if you're at a place and someone tries to jack your wheels, it's going to start going crazy. The horn's going to honk and everything else. Now, if you've got your windows down, say, for instance, you're at a picnic or whatever, and someone decides to reach their hand in there while the car's not running and you're not in here, it'll go off as well. So you always want to make sure that that's always uh, on. Other than that, if you've got any questions, you've got my number. You can feel free to give me a call. Congratulations again, and thanks for giving me the opportunity to help you out, brother. I really, really appreciate it.